Population growth in North Carolina meant that following the 1990 census, the state acquired an additional congressional district, and with it, the need to reapportion its existing districts. The state's redistricting plan contained two majority black districts out of 12. White voters challenged one of these districts, District 12, as an unconstitutional racial gerrymander. The courts agreed, and the state went back to the drawing board. The United States Supreme Court judged its effort in Easley v. Cromartie. The population of the redrawn District 12 was 47% black, but Cromartie sued the governor of North Carolina, James Hunt, alleging that the new boundaries still violated the Equal Protection Clause. When Michael Easley became the new governor, he was substituted as the defendant. Cromartie argued that the legislature had drawn District 12's boundaries to maximize the African-American population in the district. Easley maintained that the goal was simply to create a safe Democratic seat. Evidence at trial showed that white voters who registered as Democrats crossed party lines and voted for Republicans more frequently than African-American voters, 95% of whom registered and voted Democratic. The federal district court ruled that District 12's new boundaries had been based on race and were therefore unconstitutional. Easley appealed to the United States Supreme Court.